Hi, I'm Josh Catalis. In the health world, there's some amazing ways we can determine what's actually going on inside the body using objective measures. The name we give to this is testing. There's a couple categories of testing though. The first is conventional lab diagnostics. You know, if you go to your doctor and you ask for a test to be done, or they're doing a checkup, they're gonna probably recommend a conventional lab test. And these are based on the general population. They're based on these wide reference ranges. When you fall out of these reference ranges, you can then be given a diagnosis. You can be given a name for that imbalance. So that really only happens more at the end stage. Now disease is easier to treat at the beginning, but harder to detect. It's harder to treat in the end, but easier to detect. The magic of functional lab tests is that we can find things, we can find imbalances way before they become a problem or a diagnosis. We're not looking to give it a name. We're looking to see where those imbalances lie. Let me give you an example. Someone has digestive issues, so they go to their doctor and they say, hey, I've got all these symptoms happening, can we test? And they do a stool test. And the stool test is looking for some really bad pathogens to see if those are the issue. But lo and behold, the test comes back and everything is normal. Functional lab tests look well above and beyond just that surface item. For example, in a stool test, we can see what the good bacteria are like. Are there too many of them? Are there not enough? What's the balance? We can look at the bad bacteria. We can look at yeast organisms. We can look at parasites and worms. We can even look at various digestive factors that may indicate an imbalance and an inability to actually digest the food properly. We can look to see if there's inflammation in the gut. Bottom line is we can see a lot more. Another example is hormones. You know, in conventional lab testing, they'll test a single hormone, but in functional nutrition, we understand that hormones can have many different metabolites that have many different implications, like estrogen, for example. Only estradiol might get tested in a conventional lab test, but in a functional lab test, we look at estradiol, estrone, estriol, and even the multiple metabolites from those three different estrogens. So functional lab testing can offer a lot more in terms of trying to find where those imbalances are if they can't be detected, and also seeing things way earlier than you typically would with conventional lab work. This is functional nutrition.